Welcome to 2016 and a brand new year of The One Pot Chef and I'm starting this year with something sweet and naughty because frankly that's just what I'm in the mood for. Let's make some beautiful chocolate peanut butter squares on The One Pot Chef. going to start with our biscuit base. I've got 250 grams of plain chocolate cookies. I'm using Choc Ripples today and I've just crushed them up. To make sure they're nice and fine using a food processor or just stick them in a bag and hit them with something heavy. And to that I'm going to add in 90 grams of butter which I've just melted. Mix that together until combined. I've got a standard slice pan here which I have just lightly greased and lined with some nonstick baking paper. It's about 30 centimetres by about 20 centimetres. And we're just going to put the biscuit mixture in. And just using a flat bottom glass, we're just going to press it down all over until it's nice and even and smooth. And that's ready to go into the fridge to chill while we work on our peanut butter filling. For our filling in a saucepan over medium heat, I've got 90 grams of butter and we're just going to allow this to melt until it's nice and bubbly and foamy. Next we're going to add in half a cup of brown sugar. That'll give us a nice caramelly fudgy consistency. One and a half cups of icing sugar or powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, depending on where in the world you come from. And one cup of beautiful thick smooth peanut butter. I'm using smooth and I'm also using one that's not too oily because I don't want this to become a slick oily mess. I want this to sort of come together and almost be like a thick caramel. And just using a wooden spoon we're just going to mix this all together until melted and smooth. Turn off the heat and we're going to add in half a cup of chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate today but you can use milk if you wish. And just stir the chocolate chips through. Spread the peanut butter mixture over the surface of the cookie crumbs. And this is ready to go back into the fridge again. This time it's going in for an hour or until this mixture on top has set. Lastly, I've got 150 grams of good quality dark chocolate. You could use milk chocolate as well, but I think dark chocolate helps to offset the sweetness of everything else. And we're just going to melt this. I'm just going to use the microwave, pop it into a microwave safe bowl and simply microwave it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Give it a stir with a metal spoon, put it in for another 20 seconds and just keep going until it's nice and smooth. Pour the melted chocolate over the surface of the slice and then simply smooth it out to make sure it's nice and even. And that's about it. Pop this back into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to allow the chocolate to set and we're ready to slice up and serve. That's set, so all we need to do is lift this out of the tin, like so. And pull the paper back. Now those of you obsessed with keeping things neat will probably want to trim the edges, but otherwise all we need to do is cut this into little squares. Now I recommend cutting it into two centimetre or one inch pieces because these are quite rich. So don't go too crazy with the size. And that's it. Delicious no-bake chocolate peanut butter squares. Rich and gorgeous. Trust me, you're gonna love these. Rich and sweet with a little bit of saltiness. These are going to be so naughty. Time to have a taste. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. <laughs> That's simply amazing. You've got that lovely crumbly cookie base at the bottom. You've got sweet and slightly salty peanut butter mixture in the middle. And that cool layer of crisp dark chocolate on top. It's a great combination. It's sweet, it's salty, it's bad for your teeth and it's fantastic. Give it a go. Trust me, everyone will love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check me out on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video. And of course, on my website, onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to 2016. I had a great Christmas and New Year. I hope you did too. Um, just wanted to let you guys know, I've got lots of videos planned for the coming year. So I hope you all enjoy everything that I'm sharing. 
make sure you go and check me out on social media, especially Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, because unfortunately YouTube's subscription box doesn't seem to be working as well as it used to be. So if you want to absolutely make sure you're up to date with all of my latest videos, make sure you follow me on social media. So check out those links in the video description underneath the video. All right, guys, lots of love to you all. Talk to you soon.